Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, this is just a random video and I know I look so terrible right now. But, oh my god, the exciting news. I just saw on a website and I will put a link in the description box below. Even though the um, design of the cafe doesn't look to be all that exciting, um, maybe when it's actually opened and stuff, it'll actually have a lot more detail and everything. But in Fukuoka and Tokyo here in Japan, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is getting its own cafe. Oh my god, for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. First of all, I cannot express how much I want to see that movie. I have been to every single movie in the United States when it was showing, each midnight showing, I went to every single one, every single one, every single one. And unfortunately, you know, I can't go to the one here, but you know, the midnight showing, whenever it's gonna be, because, or it's already been out, I'm not for sure. I guess it's already actually been out. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to check. Um, or you can tell me in the comments below. Um, I really want to see it you know I had I just now finally got to watch the trailer and oh my gosh I just oh just, just oh my god you guys have no clue um, I've always loved Harry Potter and the Harry Potter movies and and so everybody knows I'm a big fan uh, what house are you in uh, sorry I'm a Ravenclaw even though I wanted to be you know in um, uh, Gryffindor but I took the test several times. I am a Ravenclaw, and my um, animal is my sorry, my Patronus is a Tonkinese. So yeah, um, what house are you in when it comes to uh, Harry Potter? Um, <clears throat> I can't remember the one that I'm in. It was some weird name for the American one, and I don't remember. Now I'm just waiting for JK Rowling to do the one for Japan, the houses for Japan, and the other countries too. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's the big news. You know, holy cow, there is going to be a Harry Potter cafe. Yes, Japan has many cafes, cat cafes, you know, Final Fantasy cafe, monster cafes, maid cafes, you know, you name it, there's a cafe for it. But it's actually going to have now Wizarding World, even though you can go to USJ, to the Wizarding World there at USJ, which is really cool. Um, but if you want to just go to the cafe, when it opens, it is supposed to open November 9th, which is coming up in Fukuoka and Tokyo. It, they said that they will have a uh, limited merchandise sale for there, so to be able to get and stuff at the opening. And it'll probably have the merchandise all the year round for the cafe to be open. But you guys have no clue. Unfortunately, you know, I don't have the money to go to Fukuoka or to Tokyo to go to this cafe because I would so do a video on this cafe. So, you YouTubers that are here in Japan that are in Tokyo or Fukuoka, you have the Kit Channel. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Liz Kelly, you know, she's awesome YouTuber. Um, Kel Preston, he's an awesome YouTuber. You also have... Uh, Rachel and June. There, there are so many YouTubers out there. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> and then in Fukuoka, my favorite YouTuber in Fukuoka is uh, Michaela. She, she's, she's just awesome and amazing, and she's great. Um, I wish to meet these YouTubers one of these days. Also, another great YouTubers if you like cooking. Um, you know, the Kit Channel Ito. Itokun, he's got his own um, Eri's Kitchen, so um, he's got his YouTube, and then also you've got Tabi Eats. They're they're really those two guys are awesome, also. So, but anyway, this was not about that. This is about the Harry, the Wizardry World, Fantastic Beast Harry Potter Cafe in Fukuoka and Tokyo, opening November 9th. Um, if you get a chance to go, hit me up. <clears throat> I am on Instagram under Seraphine. I am under, you know, I've got my YouTube channel. I'm also on Twitter under the name uh, Seraphine. So hit me up. Send pictures. That would be really cool. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Today is a beautiful, 
beautiful sunny day here in uh, <clears throat> Tatsuno and I'm just getting ready for my classes and studying doing a little bit of studying for Japanese but for some reason when I I study at night after I get home from work and then I wake up and I pretty much forgot it um, I know using Google Translate's bad I know using um, Papa Go is bad for translation but and I've got the um, Shisho Jo something like that um, online dictionary for looking up words but it's really difficult um, for me anyway I don't know I'm just getting like a mind block every time but so yeah um, other than that other than that I'm doing doing fairly well um, I've actually been sick with a cold and I got medicine from the doctor and but I still don't feel very good and you know was sick last night I shouldn't have eaten I tried to eat uh, tonkatsu and then before that I tried to eat curry my stomach was not having that so yeah that was not good um, I need to stick with the it's like a rice porridge type thing that my uh, boss had brought me the last time I was sick and I actually I like the flavor of it the one that um, I really like they kind of had like look like egg already mixed into it and I added a little bit of um, teriyaki sauce to it just a few drops and a little bit of white pepper and I actually really really liked it so um, it's not that bad and even plain it's not really that bad but it definitely needs a, like pepper or something to it uh, so yeah <clears throat> and you know I'm getting excited because coming up this next month also in November is the Utada concert you guys have no idea I've been looking forward to this this is my first concert ever to go to and I love Utada Hikaru she her music is wonderful she is a strong mother um, when she was in the United States you know she's lived in the United States there in New York and um, I knew her as Cubic U back in 1996 um, but she is just a beautiful and wonderful artist I have all her songs I have the new CD that came out and I play it all the time I listen to it I sing it all the time I have the music always playing in my car always singing her songs uh, she's just she's just a wonderful artist her songs have depth and feeling in it and they are just just amazing and totally awesome um, <clears throat> sorry don't mind my messy hair like I said I'm just I'm just chilling right now and it's just life life is good life is hard you know I'm not gonna say it's easy to anybody that's out there and I haven't put out a lot of videos and my YouTube channel has been kind of eh, stale and it's just because I'm trying to juggle everything and you know I can juggle things but it's just downtime and I don't I'm trying to think of content you know to come up with that people haven't already done um, you know traveling around here is kind of just uh, you know it's cheap but to have the money to go eat places and when right now I don't speak the Japanese language so to be able to tell ask others hey can I take a video and do you mind and everything and then also you're not here in Japan you cannot show um, children's faces on YouTube because it's a invasion of privacy and I understand that so you know wanting to do video you know of like Matsuri's and stuff like that I need to have editing software on my computer and I actually need an actual you know uh, DSL camera or a handheld video camera to be able to take really good video for you guys and edit it and all that um, but so yeah and I'm not homesick 
for the United States. <laughs> Far, far, far from being homesick. The only thing I miss back in the United States is my daughter. That's the only thing I miss in the United States, um, people-wise. Sorry, you know, um, I do have friends that are in the United States. Um, Florida, uh, up in uh, Minnesota, and California. Um, and... You know, when it comes to, you know, missing people, there are some people that I would like to see, but um, other than that, do I want to go back to the United States? <laughs> no, I really don't. I love Japan. Japan is my home. I want to stay here forever, and I will do everything in my power to stay here. Um, you know, if I had to, if somebody said, you know, you have to, you know, you love it so much, okay, we'll go ahead and give you the citizenship, you know, just give up your United States uh, citizenship, that means you would have to apply for, you know, you'd have to basically, could only go visit the United States, you know, for like one or two months or something like that if I wanted to visit and stuff and be like on a visitor's visa. No problem, I have no problem doing that, I, I really don't have no problem doing that. Um, I love Japan. That, that's plain and simple. I just love it here. Um, and I love the people here. Uh, I'm still getting used to things. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, and there is a few things that I've got to work out and everything. So there might be something maybe new coming to my channel. I don't know. And that's still in the works. That might still be several months off. Um, but, so yeah, it's, it's, it's going, um, I do miss baking and cooking a lot, <laughs> um, as you guys have seen from my kitchen, I do not have, and I'll show you again, in my kitchen, you know, I have these, you know, I've got the stove there, and where my dishes, my sink, oh, my new refrigerator, I love that refrigerator. But, you know, I don't have an oven, and I don't have, uh, well, oven microwave. And the oven microwave that I would want to have, sorry, <laughs> um, is, God, it would cost about, uh, what's it? Yon? Yon my, yon my, send in about four hundred dollars, pretty much U.S. Um, or forty thousand yen, uh, but it's because it has the baking feature, the roasting feature, the just regular microwave feature, um, <clears throat> and you can, and it's got two levels in there, so you can, you know, cook, you know. I could bake cookies or something like that, you know, two different levels, um, and not have to do one at a time constantly, but, so, yeah, um, in he, you know, there's things I still have to get used to, and it's gonna take time to accrue, accrue different things here that I want to have here in Japan. Honestly, now, if there was a way I could win a lot of money and have a house, um, yeah, I would have a house with a proper, you know, oven and stove and stuff like that, but that's kind of expensive. That's definitely far, way, way, way far off the future, you know. Um, but other than that, uh, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I'm going to the Utada concert this next month. I don't know how much I'll be able to actually video because the simple fact is you're not allowed to have video there, you know, with uh, concerts. I don't know. Um, you know, I could take short little quick videos or maybe even try to do a quick little live video outside the hall while I'm waiting, you know, and, you know, maybe of some of the merchandise, you know that's going to be available. I'm just, this is, this is exciting. You know, I kind of just want to enjoy the moment because I am going to the concert with somebody. Um, and I'll have to see if he, he's probably not willing to be 
on camera per se. I'm not for sure. You know, I may end up just seeing a shoulder or a neck or you know a hand or something like that. Um, so, so yeah, I'll have to ask and see because um, I don't want to invade anybody's privacy. Anyway, um, I'm just rambling on. So yeah, and my hair is a mess. Um, one thing about, you know, and it has nothing to do with Japan and everything. I love the products. That's another thing. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do a review on that. Okay, so um, I guess I could do a real quick review on it. I don't know. Hmm. Why not? This is just a random, random video. So let's do that. Let's go. Do, do, do. Come with me. Come with me and you'll be in a world of full imagination. Okay, Tanya, stop singing. Okay, <laughs> so, um, like I said, I was going to do a review on this and I totally forgot to do one. Anyway, so yeah, my hallway. So, anyway, I had bought this you know because it was a lighting terrible okay going back into my living room okay much better so um i was gonna do a review on this because you know rachel from rachel and june um i'll put a link in the description box below to their channels um they have rachel and june rachel and june's adventure and june's cooking channel oh my gosh june is an amazing cook one of these days i have to visit them because i just want to try his cooking just once um <clears throat> and he did a video of just it's all he's not talking at all you know you get to see the cats which come on video cooking and cats I mean you can't get any better than that um, plus June's a good-looking guy Rachel you know snagged herself you know amazing amazing chef a wonderful guy very creative you know I am so happy that you know I found their YouTube channel years and years ago she, when I first started watching Rachel, that was when she started doing her YouTube. Oh my gosh, the first video I ever watched was when she was drunk and, well, not totally drunk, but yeah, she was kind of drunk and she was uh, doing a video and stuff. And that was, that was, that was hilarious. I mean, I love that one. That was, that was definitely a raw in your face video. Um, but anyway, off the subject. So yeah, um. Rachel had suggested because one thing about Japanese products is a lot of people say Japanese don't smell. Um, first of all, some do in all actuality, especially if you get on the trains and you get many people that have been on, out working and stuff on the trains and it's sweaty and hot in summer. Yeah, it, it, it can get pretty bad. But for us Americans or anybody else that's not from Japanese or Japanese descendant, um, we have different body chemistries and I was sitting there like okay I'm running low on my American style deodorant I need something I'm going to need something that works really good and they had she had recommended this and it says for problem perspiration soft zone double Dio Dio Natural deodorant okay this is the stuff here I don't know focus not really wanting to focus but if you can see this yeah okay <clears throat> anyway it is not wanting to focus at all sorry guys anyway I got this deodorant um, it's available at my local uh, shops here the um, drug stores you can actually find it pretty much just about anywhere um, I bought this on Amazon because it was cheaper and I got two for the price that I would pay at the um, drugstore for one so yeah that was a better price um, but yeah you can buy these on Amazon and it's it works excellent the only problem that I have with this is that okay so this is deodorant and it is a soft stone it's a stick deodorant um, sorry if you guys like aerosol they don't have it they do have it in a cream and the cream can get kind of messy and stuff, so um, I like the stone. But uh, it's only so much. And then, as you can see, you know, this is, you know, I've used it right about here. 
is actually where it stops. So you still actually have about this much of deodorant still left and there's no way to get it out unless you do like I did, which was punch a hole in the bottom. And when I did that, um, you have to be careful because in the hole, it actually, it, the deodorant still, uh, I can't even talk. The deodor deodorant part here, it actually sits on a plastic insert that's in here and the insert itself actually has a hole in you know the plastic part that sits on is actually you have the full plastic and then you have a hole that's in the middle so if you try to stick something in this hole to push it up more you could going straight up through the deodorant and it just makes a crumbly mess um, out the bottom so what I did is I did take a pencil and I stuck it in there and popped this out here and then I actually made, got, cut a round piece of cardboard and of course took the deodorant part, cut a round piece of cardboard and put it down in underneath where the deodorant stick would go and that makes it totally flat. And of course I covered the cardboard with plastic wrap and stuff and so then when I twisted this then it'll come up more but it looks like I didn't make it thick enough. Um, I do have another one of these and I'm going to maybe see if I can combine them, kind of compress uh, both deodorants together. Um, so I don't know, I'm going to try and see that, that'll probably be a major fail, but you know, <clears throat> Shogunite. So, so yeah, this deodorant for anybody that's, you know, from America, Europe, wherever, um, if you're worried about deodorant, go to the, um, go to the drugstore they're they're available everywhere here in Japan um, I haven't seen it at a conveni I'm sorry but you know just pro you can Google Maps and find pretty much any drugstores and stuff and convenies you know drugstores around um, they do have this I've seen it at max values and so and you could probably find it Eon too uh, but yeah pick yourself up one of these I mean it is it works it works and I'm glad it works because I would be in probably a world of hurt right now if I did not have that and thank you Rachel and June for even recommending it so so yeah um, my review on that <laughs> that is 100% sorry 100% excellent and worth getting definitely but like I said, it does come in a cream. There is a cream tube that you can get for that, but that can get kind of messy. I mean, it's, it's your preference if you'd rather have the stick or if you'd rather have the tube. Um, that's just your choice or get, them, get one of each and try it. Be careful with the tube one. Um, I can't stress this enough. I mean, it is labeled, but I almost myself picked up the wrong one there is one that's for you know the deodorant part and then there's another one they have a deodorant one for the foot too that you put the cream on your foot um, so make sure you don't get those mixed up um, so yeah uh, that's pretty much that um, other than that that's pretty much all that's going on here and like I said it's a really really nice day outside um, I love it and there's not much more else I can say about that uh, so yeah this was just a weird random video just a one touch base about the Harry Potter cafe that's opening up in Tokyo and Fukuoka and a little bit of rambling on about me and about the Utada concert coming up and just uh, just random stuff um, but you know there is a few things in and about what I don't miss in America um, what I do miss and people do say it's a sort of homesick is some of the ingredients like ranch dressing oh my god I miss my ranch dressing and yes I could probably make it here but yeah um, I want to be able to make my homemade breads like sourdough bread um, but I have to order on Amazon the um, uh, dried uh, non-fat powdered milk La Tierra taco seasoning 
I miss that. Um, there's a few Thai products actually that I miss. There are seasonings that are for duck and uh, chicken that I miss um, that I used to get there. I used to use those and I would mix it with other things that I had and I'd make um, my own karage chicken or oven bake. Even though the one is for um, pork, not for duck, but for pork or duck and it's a red um, type uh, seasoning that you uh, marinate the pork in or duck in and stuff. Um, I actually use that uh, for chicken and it tastes really really good. So um, miss that. Uh, Reese's Pieces, I miss those. Uh, Milky Ways, I miss those. Because a frozen Milky Way bar, oh my god. Um, everything they do have mint stuff here and i really like their mint stuff um what else do i miss um, having some gluten-free stuff corn tortillas is few and far to be able to find uh a caldi's here you know you can get it if they have it at the time um uh let's see here what else do i miss there's so many things that i miss um box cereals, uh, pop tarts, oh my gosh, um, let's see here, uh, I miss making, you know, they do have marshmallows here, but the marshmallows here taste a little bit different than, you know, American marshmallows, <clears throat> Rice Krispie Treats, oh my gosh, um, there are so many different, there's different foods and stuff that I'd like to have. Um, and things I like to make their seasonings that you know I can't find here that I would like to get I still am trying to find onion powder and I still have yet to be able to find that I don't know where I'm gonna have to look for that um, I found garlic powder and stuff like that but onion powder is hard for me to find shallots I need shallots to make my homemade dressing and I'm having troubles finding shallots um, and even though I've looked up the word for shallots, the grocery stores I've been to, I still have not been able to find it. I might have to try to check um, Seiyu and see if they may possibly have shallots. So I don't know. Um, but one thing is, you know, if you haven't been to Japan, you gotta come. I mean, People are really nice here. Yes, you do get some bad apples here. Um, there are some people that you know are stuck within themselves, and it's just it's unfortunate. But for the most part, people are really really nice here. Um, so, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend coming up. Um, Hope you have a wonderful and safe Halloween. Halloween candy. Oh my gosh. The grab bags of candy that we have available in the United States. That would go over so well with the kids here. But it would so put them on a sugar high. And if I had bags of that to give to my students. I so would. Because it would be an awesome treat for them. And I'd sit there and have them say trick or treat. You know. Um. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has just been a random, 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 random video and update on just me and how things are going with me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, again, a wonderful, beautiful weekend. Have a safe Halloween next week. And I will talk to you guys later. Johnny.